today I'm trying to manipulate this lock figure out the combination I've done this twice successfully on other locks I've been working on this one for quite a while I'm having a real hard time finding that first number so I'll work on this and let you know if I get it YouTube. What I'm about to show you uh, is not something you should use to get yourself in trouble or get somebody else in trouble. This is something you use if you lose your combination uh, to help you get into your own personal things. That's my disclaimer. So if you do something stupid and get caught, it's not my fault. We're going to be manipulating a master combination padlock today okay after watching about a hundred videos and not being able to get it I put several videos together and here is how you pick a master combination lock like you'd see on a school locker okay let's try this again I watched a ton of videos on how to crack or manipulate a master padlock a combination padlock like you'd see on a school locker I put some good advice from several videos together found the easiest way for me to do it, it might be a little longer you might know faster way a lot of people seem to but for people that aren't um, well, people that don't have perfect hearing to hear these clicks or people that don't have a lot of patience me I'll show you how I did it first you're going to want a pad of paper and a pen you're going to want to find a third number so you write down 1 through 12 the reason you write down 1 through 12 is because there are four sets of three numbers possible on this third number so we're finding the third number first what you do is you see that you pick up on that starting at zero right here I'm at about half what I mean by that is I can if I'm pulling up putting pressure on this I can move between zero and one that puts me at one half so you'd write down 0.5 then you go past the one pull up again and your next one will be mine is three and a half I don't know if you can see this or not for some reason I always want to put it up to the screen three and a half to four and a half so I write down a four and then you keep going around and doing that next will be you have to be pretty precise with this next will be six and a quarter to seven and a quarter six and a quarter to seven and a quarter that'll put you at six and three quarter my numbers didn't come out the same be well it's close enough and then the next one will be 10 to 10 and 3 quarter so about 10 and a quarter maybe 10 and a half 10 and a quarter it doesn't matter the number is going to get crossed out anyway and then you keep going and as you you'll start to notice here I'm at 13 and a half to 14 
That puts me at 13 and 3 quarter. The next will be 16 and a half to 17 and a half. That'll put me at 17. I'll write 17 down. Next will be 20 to 21. That's 20 and a half. Then, looks like 23 and a quarter. 23 and a quarter, about 24 and a quarter. So we'll put Let's put down 23 and 3 quarter. Now we got 26 to 28. So 27. And 30 to 30 and 3 quarter. Well, almost 30, we we'll put 30 and a half. And then 33 and a quarter to 34. We'll just put three, 33 and a half, 33 and three quarters. Doesn't matter, it's getting scratched out. That one is. 36 and a half to 37 and a half. So that's going to be a 37. And that's it. Pretty close to what I wrote. It doesn't matter. All the ones you're going to cross out are the ones that aren't whole numbers. I ended up with 4, 7, 17, 27. 37 the oddball in there would be the four so I circled the four the four is my last number of this combination now what you want to do is you want to divide your your number by four so say mine's four so it's going to be zero you want the remainder if it's a 11 4 8 and 3 so 3 here, then it'll be 3 so here's my 0 0 then you add 4 8 12 16 20 so on and so forth you just keep adding 4 so you have 1 through 10 that'll take me up to 36 now since my number is 0 up here this is my second number. One of these ten numbers is my second number, guaranteed. Third number, you want to deduct two. Mine's a zero, so mine's going to be a 38. That can be confusing. I would have found it a bit easier to have the 38 down at the bottom below the 34. Because I kept missing the 38 as I was going through the sequences. So then, with that 38, you just deduct two from each one, and it'll be 38, 2, 6, 10, 14, etc., etc., down the line. That'll be one of those is your third number, one of those 10. Now, you can sit here and go through all these combinations. There's a couple hundred combinations that would take you forever, but not forever, but it would take a really long time, and some people do it that way. Another thing you can do is to get your first number, since you already have, and you already know what one of your first numbers is, you take this to zero, you put light pressure on here, enough that it spins, doesn't gouge all the time. To find your first number, you already know it's going to be anywhere from a zero to a 36 on fours. Put a tiny bit of resistance on there, let this spin for you, get a feel for it. You're putting resistance on this. This is your resistance, lifting up on this. If you lift too hard, you're not going to be able to turn it. If you don't lift hard enough, it's just going to turn and turn. So you got to find that spot. You're looking for one click multiple times. That's too much. I'm getting it right between 35 and 40. I just can't feel exactly where it's at yet. Somewhere between 35 and 40, my only option is 36. There it is, 30, it's still in 37, but we're going to call it 36 because that's my only possible option after doing that math. And the second number, 
14. I know it's 14. It's 36 something 4. So I went 36 2 4, 36 6 4, 36 10 4, 36 14 4. Yes, I skipped 38 because I keep forgetting that's up there. Uh, 14 had opened. So I only had, after I figured out the first number was 36 and my last number was 4, I only had to try maximum of 10 different combinations now if I go like this zero it out and I go to 36 we're 36 then I go left past zero to 10 oh no to 14 is 14 and then I turn right just to the 4 and stop oh there it is good day for picking locks now I'm, I'd like to have another batch of these that I could start pick start figuring this out and getting used to it because this is only the third time I was I've been able to pick one of these and that every time I did it differently from ways I found online but this way here is a little more time consuming with figuring out the numbers and all that not much I'm I could do this in two or three minutes but if if you can figure out the one and a three in 30 seconds which should be very possible then uh Finding that two is the second number is the, is the longest part. There's other ways to do it. I could, I could probably come up with something even better than this. But that's how you pick a, or that's how you manipulate a master combination padlock. See you later.